All right, guys. So we got the birdhouse all complete. Uh, we didn't get the chance to record the build, but we'll do that again at another time. So, but for now, we just need to get this thing mounted or figure out a way to get it mounted outside. So we can call this a complete project. Uh, I've been kind of thinking of different ways to do it, and we were just cleaning out this mess of crap back there, make room for the rest of the shop, and we came across my one of my son's old bikes. What I noticed is the peg stand for this looks just about to be perfect for uh, so I can forge a hook out of that. We're gonna make that a hanging hook. Okay, I got a spot out back that I'm gonna want to hang the bird feeder, and it looks like this thing is already stainless steel, and it's got a good flat part right there that we can put a screw through, and I'm just gonna try to bend this into a hook shape. Okay, so I want to take as much of this flat part as I possibly can. That's gonna be a a good mountain surface there so I'm gonna try to cut it as close as I can get it all right there we have it so next step we can stick it in the forge, heat it up, bend it into a hook, and then we'll be ready to mount. All right, so I got my kickstand heating up in the forge. Uh, we're almost ready. So the next thing you see, we're gonna have hot metal, and all I'm gonna do is try to lengthen the entire piece by drawing it out. Uh, it's gonna just make it a few inches longer, give me a little bit more Okay, so like, I said, so like I said, I'm just going to try to draw the whole piece out and extend it a little bit further. square and then when we want to round it back off we can close off the edges and round it off but for now I think I'm gonna heat it up maybe one more time get a little bit of length out of it okay second heat Back up one more time and try to get those hammer marks out of there as best we can. 
square, and now we're back to a circle. Doesn't really make much sense, does it? But that's how we're drawing it out. So I'm gonna heat it back up one more time. We're gonna try to clean up those edges, hammer marks, make it a little bit more round. So back in the forge. All right, let's try to clean this up best we can. Try to use the horn on the new anvil to get our hook. And I'm basically just gonna try to make a U-shape on the end here. I don't have a proper mount here, it's gonna be a little difficult. like a candy cane shape I guess and then now we're gonna bend it in the other way to make a hook. Alright, should I get our last bend in here? Deal with this unproperly mounted anvil here. I just want to go the opposite way of the other hook. I don't need much, just enough to pretty but it'll be functional. Okay, so just need to punch a hole through there to get a screw through it and we'll bend it up in an L and we're ready to mount it. Alright, ready to start drifting our hole.
It sure ain't pretty, but it should do the job. It should be functional. So, clean it up a little bit, get some rough edges off of there, and then we'll take it out and show you what it looks like. All right, so we got the hook all forged up, and I made a modification. I just drew it out a few inches longer. We figured it wasn't going to be long enough to get it. Uh, to get the bird feeder away from the telephone pole because I mounted it to a telephone pole out back So I wanted it enough distance so there would be space in between so I just drew that out a little bit But that's the hook that we forged from the kickstand and we went out and got some hardware Some a gold hook that hopefully will match that kind of good actually We're gonna put it upside down there and I got some chain length here that I cut we'll hang that on the hook and then connect the chain to this S hook which will then mount to the forged hook that we have and we'll screw it to a telephone pole so for now we can take it outside and we'll actually we're gonna have to go ahead and put our hardware on and then when we come back we'll show you the hardware and we'll get the chain mounted and we'll be able to take it out back and get some seed in it and it'll be a working bird feeder finally okay so we're finally ready to mount the birdhouse up we're gonna go ahead and screw our forged hook in All right, nice and sturdy. Chain in. All right, so we're going to hang it. I think that's about right. Good level to be able to refill the seed. So now all we need to do is get seed in it and we're ready. So that's it, forged hook, finished bird feeder. Let's get some seed in it. All right, so that's it folks. We got our bird feed in and we'll call that a finished project. And like I said, I know you didn't get to see the build for the bird feeder, but we'll do another one. Probably gonna be a subscriber giveaway, so Stick around for that and we might even sit on the porch for a little bit and hope see if we get some birdies in so thanks again for joining me on another project i'll be back as soon as we can